Hello, everybody. This is Bud Brown living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. Hey, I just had um, breakfast and coffee with a uh, buddy, expat. And uh, unfortunately, uh, he had uh, received news that he had lost one of his children and passed away. So that was kind of a sad conversation. But uh, as what happens when we uh, encounter a death of a close friend or a family member, you know, it makes us uh, think on our own mortality and uh, sometimes rearranges our priorities. So it made me think of uh, our children. Uh, Gloria and I, you know, we've only been married to each other. Um, and the reason I say that is because uh, when people ask us, Filipinos ask us, how many children do you have? And I say two, they'll say, was that from your first marriage or from this marriage? <laughs> I said, I've only had uh, one wife. I can't say one marriage because we got married here in the Philippines and then we got married in the States. So we've had two marriages, but to the same person. But anyway, we. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about children and I remember uh, as a young man, I was 22, she was 21. And I think all of us, uh, when we consider uh, marrying someone and having children, probably you think like I did, what would our children look like? Look like me, look like my wife, a little bit of both. So uh, I got to considering, you know, I know that uh, I'm not a real big fellow, but I'm bigger, uh, well, I'm bigger than my wife for sure. And uh, I've got a big nose, which is not uncommon for uh, Americanos. And she's a little gal with a little, I don't want to say pug nose, but in Tagalog, you say pango. <laughs> Her nose, a little, little bitty button. So I said to myself, what a horrible situation if we produced offspring that are really short and walk around with a big nose. Oh, who would want to bring a child into the world like that? So as it happened, and a lot of people know, mixed marriages, that means mixed races, you know, American, Filipino, or other races that uh, get married and have children. Their children are, are beautiful, and our children are no exception. I had a we have a girl and a boy, but uh, I had found that if you've been following my videos, I, I was going to throw away this disc, but it had a lot of videos that uh, I had taken years ago. So right after I ja quit jabbering here. I'm gonna show you that video, but it shows our children, you know, when they were uh, chill, uh, young children and teenagers and adults. So we're so fortunate that uh, our children are lovely, wonderful, beautiful inside and out. And uh, they love their mom and their dad and they love each other. They've always been close. So we're so fortunate to uh, have a good relationship. And I know that through no one's fault, uh, many parents, uh, fathers or mothers do not have a good relationship. So that's just something that I'm glad that we have and that I appreciate and uh, want to share that. So uh, I'll let you see this video that we had made a few years ago about our children. So until next time, bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name's Bud Brown, and this is my lovely wife. Gloria Brown. Gloria Brown. And I noticed that uh, on YouTube, it gives you uh, statistics on different things. And one of them was uh, people were, or what they were looking for. And 
several of them, uh, one of the most common things people were looking for was the phrase, Bud, Brown, Bud and Gloria Brown's children. So I thought, well, maybe we should do something about our children. We really haven't done much. So uh, bottom line is we're very, very happy with our children, right? Yep. They're good kids. Good kids. Of course, they're uh, adults now. Our uh, daughter is 42 and our son is 41. We've had two marriages. Now, in the movie, I, well, I think it showed both of them, uh, because I wanted to marry her, and I had made a decision to marry her, um, where I was stationed in uh, San Miguel, Zambales, the province of Zambales, we were not allowed, the sailors were not allowed to have a serious relationship with the so-called natives or the locals. So I thought it would be easier for me to sin, her, sin for her if we got married. I mean, sin for her as my wife rather than as my fiance. So we... Um, contacted a judge, Judge... Abud. Abud. And he married us in, uh, uh, was it his, his place or your no, friend's? Uh, my uh, mama's son. Our landlord's place. And so it was him and me and Gloria and your friend, I think, was there. Uh -huh. So I couldn't tell anybody. You know, I felt like um, Clark Kent. I was so proud to be married. But I couldn't tell anybody I was married. Couldn't wear my ring. Uh, and just had to pretend like we were just boyfriend and girlfriend. But anyway, so we got married. And then a uh, few months later, I had to, well, my contract was up. I was in the Navy four years. And so... I got out and I sent for her and there was a part in the movie about she had trouble getting in, uh, getting a visa, but anyway it worked out. She came over and uh, I have to confess that really in the first few years of our marriage it was not perfect. so easy. Huh? Well, not perfect. It was not perfect. Um, one thing, she wasn't used to the money situation, and so we had a lot of financial problems uh, because she couldn't quite get the idea that if you get a loan, you have to pay it back. And it just so happens that in the States, because I had good credit, it was very easy for us to get a loan, and she is my wife had to get along. So that was rough. And uh, she thought that uh, she could get uh, credit at, you know, jewelry stores, right? Yep. And uh, different places. But finally, after a few years, we did uh, get our financial uh, situation straightened out. But I want to talk a little bit about our children. Unlike a lot of newlyweds, we didn't want to have children right away. So we actually waited five years. We waited about five years. Mm -hmm. um, she did get pregnant, and this is kind of a tough part to talk about. But the very first pregnancy, we were so excited about it. You were five months pregnant. Mm, six months. Six, six months? months. Mm -hmm. Almost a good month. And uh, the doctor said that the heartbeat of the baby stopped, the fetus. So we didn't know what was going on. I mean, she, she uh, 
didn't do anything bad as far as her physical health. And so it was just a mystery. So when they, we went to the doctor, and you can imagine five, six months pregnant. I mean, you're getting pretty big at that time. And then suddenly no heartbeat. So we went and uh, they said that the, the fetus was no longer living. So that was tough. They had to do what's called a DNC. So, uh, I mean, they had to take out the fetus that was no longer living. So I don't like to talk more about that. But uh, so we waited another year. We weren't sure that we would be able to have any more children, right? Didn't they mm -hmm. say something about maybe? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not have any more children. But anyway, we waited another year, and then we tried uh, to uh, try for her to get pregnant again. And lo and behold, she got pregnant again. We and almost lost it. Yeah, so she had to just be very, very careful. And it was a baby girl, and her name was Tammy. Mm -hmm. So Tammy was our firstborn. And um, it's very interesting when she, uh, at that time, uh, Filipino-American marriages wasn't that common. So uh, we, we call those days, and the older ones will understand this, the young ones may not understand it, but we, we call that the John and Yoko days. <laughs> John and Yoko was... Uh, Yoko Ono? Yeah. Okay. Uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, they, he was in the band The Beatles, and uh, they, she was Japanese, though. But it was a mixed-race marriage, and uh, anyway, that was popular at that time. So, um, when Tammy was born, she, uh, she was just a beautiful child. Now, you know something else I just remembered? Uh, she had these, it looked like bruises on her ankles, her wrist, and I think the small of her back. Mm -hmm. And yep. the doctor said that was very common. Birthmark dead. Well, it was like a birthmark, but I think it went away. Probably, I'm not sure. Yeah. It looked like a bruise, but this, the doctor said, oh, nothing to worry about. It's common in, in uh, Filipino-American marriages, so I don't know about that. But uh, she was a, a beautiful child, and when she went to kindergarten, um, I remember she came home and said, Dad, am I white? And I said, Tammy... If anybody asks you, just say, your dad's an American and your mom is Filipino. And that will answer the question. So, and another time when she came home from school, oh, I guess maybe first, second, or third grade, she would say, Dad, the, uh, everybody uh, thinks that I'm wearing nylons. What's nylons? Because her legs were very tan. And smooth so they were pinching her legs I don't know if you remember that or not but yeah. they um, they thought that she was wearing nylons to make her legs so smooth and tan but uh, a year after Tammy was born uh, we waited a little while and then our next child was born uh, I think about a year and a half later they're about a year and a half apart. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a boy. And his name was Andrew. So uh, it was just perfect. We wanted a boy and a girl. Of course, any parent, as long as their child is healthy, that's the main thing. But we wanted a boy and a girl. We would like to have a boy and a girl, which we did. 